everybody welcome back to my channel we are back for the review of catfish this is season 7 episode 31 oceana and nelly before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet please remember to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever i upload new content okay first and foremost i know this video is late but it has been my birthday week my birthday was on the 27th shout out to me i'm 39 years young um but the episode of Catfish was boring as hell anyway. So I'm going to break it down to you in a few minutes or less. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it because this episode was boring as hell. It was boring as hell and it was confusing as hell. Okay. So first of all, Neve's guest host this week is Slick Woods. Okay. Now, if y'all don't know who Slick Wood is, I'm going to need you after you watch this video, of course, go to your little Google search, Instagram search or whatever, and look up Slick Woods. Okay. Homegirl is fire. She's a young model beautiful she looks like a motherfucking rock star so if y'all don't know who she is look her up slick woods okay do that we have oceana she's 20 years old she's from north carolina she's been talking to some chick named nelly who she met through her instagram live oceana was doing an instagram live one day talking about how all girls want to do is hook up nobody wants to be in a serious relationship yada 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 so Nelly sends her a message. It was like, I want to be that girl for you, blah, 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 blah. They end up talking um, through Facebook or Instagram, going, talking into each other's DMs to texting each other on the phone or whatever, right? But never FaceTime, never video chat. Bitch, that's a catfish. We That, that should have been the end of the show right there. You ain't never seen a girl. You've seen pictures. And you never FaceTime, you never video chat. And then the young girls on top of that, all y'all do is stay on y'all phone and, 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 and look at each other and, and FaceTime and all that shit. So if you couldn't do it, with, if she could not do that with you, let me let you know off the rip. She a catfish, bitch. Come on now, for real. Nelly and her best friend Raven were even supposed to come to North Carolina to meet Oceana, okay? The plan was Oceana and her best friend were going to be at a hookah bar. Nelly and her best friend Raven were going to fly down to North Carolina to visit Oceana so they can meet up for the first time. Now, before this happened, happens now Nelly tells Oceana that her daughter dies like your whole daughter dead for real that's that's kind of a fucking big deal bitch for real but the funeral was supposed to be on that Thursday and she was supposed to come and fly out and see Oceana on that Friday now Oceana tells her like girl if your baby died you ain't gotta come down here for all that like goddamn Bitch, don't do that. But she tells her, no, I really want to see you. So me and my best friend Raven are going to come down there. We're going to fly down there to see you. She's like, all right, cool, bet, whatever. So Oceana and her best friend, they're at the hookah bar. Girl, um, Nelly texts her at midnight and was like, hey, yo, I'm in your city. I just touched down. whoop de woo where you at? Drop me a pen. She's like, all right, cool. I'm at the hookah bar waiting on you. Cool, I'm on my way. So they sitting up there at the hookah bar. They chilling whatever time them passes. One, two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Oceana is steady calling Nelly, bitch, where you at? Don't dance style. You supposed to be here long goddamn time ago. Nelly sends her a message and says that she got into a car wreck. She didn't have her ID on her, and the police took the rental car. Bitch, that's a lie. One, two, three, and four. First of all, how you even get a rental car if you ain't got no ID? Bitch, that's a catfish. Come on now. For real, for real. For real, for real. So, they ended up not even meeting from that. Oceana was all upset. She goes home crying. So some time has passed from them. They've not really been talking that much no more, right? So Oceana ends up meeting this other girl online named Kira, which Oceana, stop meeting bitches online because shit don't work out for you like that. But she ends up meeting this girl named Kira online. And um, her and Kira, they ended up getting into a relationship. Again, they never seen each other, but they have FaceTime, they video chat. So she knows that Kira is for real, right? So her and Kira, they talk for a little while. They end up having a mutual breakup from one another. And so, you know, they move on from their little time from there. So later on, but Kira and, uh, Kira and Oceana remain good friends. So then Kira starts talking to another girl named Kayla. And then Oceana starts talking to another girl named Sierra. But again, Oceana and Kira remain good friends. Now, the shit is finna get real goddamn confusing, so I'm finna break it down. Simple as hell, okay? When Oceana and Kira are exchanging information, come to find out that the girl that Kira's been talking to, named Kayla, and the girl that Oceana has been talking to, I think her name is Sierra, they're all best friends with Nelly and with Raven. And come to find out, Kayla 
and I believe it's Nelly, they have the same phone number. So the shit just gets all miscombobulated. It, it gets real fucking weird, right? So let me break it down, okay? Because like I said, the shit gets real, real fucking confused. I was even confused. I had to take some good ass notes on this shit. So it started off with Oceana and Nelly, and then Oceana and Kira, and then Kira and Kayla, and then Kayla is friends with Nelly. Nelly and Ke no, Nelly and Kira, Kayla got the same phone number. Now, Oceana is talking with another girl named Sierra, and Sierra is best friends with Kayla. Yeah, that same fuck shit I said. What? I don't even get that shit. So, Neve and Slick, they're doing their little research like they do, right? Come to find out that they found out that um, Sierra ain't real. Nelly ain't real. Nelly is really some chick named Angela from somewhere else. Um, who else? Kira is real, but and Raven is real. Raven and Akira, the only two that's real out of all of these bitches. This is really weird as hell, right? So they reach out to Kira to try to video chat with her. Again, Kira is the ex-girlfriend of Oceana, who she met online, who she started dating after she was talking with Nelly when she found out that Nelly wasn't was standing her up. The shit is confusing as hell, y'all. It's confusing as hell. So they try to reach out to Kira to video chat with her, Slick and Aneve do, but Kira claims she can't video chat with them because she broke her ankle trying not to step on a puppy. What the fuck that got to do with you holding up the damn thing to your face video chat? That don't make no damn sense. And she's sketchy as hell. She real, real, real goddamn sketchy. I mean, I, I, girl, this shit is confusing. It's confusing as hell. Long story short, they break it down and they find out again that Nelly, like I said, Nelly and Kayla ain't for real. Sierra, all of them, in fact, the only people that's real is Raven and Kira, right? So they go back, they tell Oceana what's going on. Oceana's like, okay, well, I need to meet these bitches, whoever the hell they are. So they're like, all right, cool. So they get in contact with Kira. Was like, okay, can you meet us down in Houston? Because we finna find out who the hell is for real and who the hell ain't for real. And we need to even find out the fucking views for real. She like, all right, cool. I'm gonna meet y'all down there. We finna see what it's so, do. Soon as they get down in Houston, they meet up with Kira. First thing you notice about Kira, she get her ass up out the car. The bitch ain't limping. Ain't nothing wrong with her ankle whatsoever. They ask her, so I thought she broke your ankle trying not to step on puppies. Like, what the fuck happened? You ain't limping. You ain't got no boot on or nothing. Oh, uh, what happened was my ankle was just hurting real bad. So I ended up going to the emergency room. No. Bitch was a lot. Girl. This shit was, it was, it was. It was confusing as hell. It was confusing as hell. So I can say about the bullshit. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So. They end up reaching out to Nellie, Kay Kayla, whoever the fuck it is, whoever the bitch is behind a the catfish. They posted me with her that day as soon as they touched down in Houston, but she claims she's too nervous. She can't meet up with him that day, so she meets up with him the next day, right? So they end up going to her house, going knocking on the front door now. First, Neve, Slick, and Oceana get out. Kira stays in the car. So they go, they go knock on the girl's front door and she's yelling at them through the door talking about something about my ex-girlfriend, yada, yada, yada. So come around the back. I don't want no confusion. Real fucking sketchy. So they go around the back. Who comes out? It's Raven, who was supposedly the best friend to Nelly. Come to find out, it's been Raven behind this shit the whole time. This bitch Raven has actually been stalking Oceana. She been feeling her, she been liking her for over a year, but she did not know how to approach her, too afraid to say anything to her. So this bitch went through the, the whole ordeal of making up all of these fake people just so she can get to Oceana and talk with Oceana, right? So Oceana, of course, she's upset. She's crying the blues. Why you do this? Yada, yada, yada. Then Raven even got the nerve to get defensive and be like, well, if y'all keep kind of feeling like y'all putting me up against the wall, y'all backing me in a corner. And when I get like this, I'm just going to walk away and I'm just going to shut down. I'm just going to be done with the shit. Bitch, you can't be mad because they coming in front of you because you sitting up here catfishing bitches. You can't be mad for that. Girl. Uh. But she tells him the reason why she does that is because her wife, had cheated on her and so they were going through hard times and so her wife had let, I, it was dumb as hell right dumb as hell so they asked her what is this shit about you saying you had a baby that died like what's up with that and she's like oh i do have a baby i do have a whole baby for real 
So, bitch, you lied on your baby and said your baby died. For real? Bitch, this ain't work. You could at least like, say your grandma died. Or something. Hell, don't even say your grandma. Say your third cousin removed. But, bitch, your baby died. For real? I would never, never use a lie as cold as saying my goddamn baby died. Bitch, you ain't shit for that. You ain't shit for that. So... Oceana gets pissed off. She ends up leaving. She don't want to talk to the bitch no more. She go back to the car. They end up telling Kira what's going on. And they tell Kira, like, yeah, well, she claims that she did it because her, her wife was cheating on her. They was going through this, yada, yada, yada. Kira's like, well, that's the same thing that um, Kayla was telling me. Because Kayla, again, is a girl who Kira was talking to. So they get back out the car, Slick Neve and Kira this time. They go and confront Raven. Raven claims she don't know nothing about nothing. She don't know who no goddamn Sierra is. She don't know none of these other people. But if you listen, she the bitch kept catching herself in a lie, saying that, oh, maybe my best friend did it from my phone to do this, to get back at this. Long story short... It was this crazy bitch Raven behind it the whole got dog on time. She was stalking Oceana because she was feeling her. So she made up all these fake people, even went so far as to going on Kira's live, making up a fake per person to get with Kira just so she could still keep tabs on Oceana. The shit was real fucking weird. All of them black. I hear on this dumb shit. Like I said, this episode was a watchworthy. Yeah, I just broke it down for you in 13 minutes or less. Okay. So let me know what y'all think about this video. Again, this episode of Catfish was rather boring, but Slick Woods was in it. And that's my girl. So I love seeing Slick Woods. So let me know what y'all think about this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.